So let's go at the beginning, way back right. to Puerto Rico. Did All you right. always want to be a major league ball player? Yeah, no, since I was six years old. Was it because your dad was a player and your uncle was a player? Yeah, I think they had uh, a lot of influence, but I think, uh, you know, telling your English teacher you're not going to open your book because you're going to be a baseball player is <laughs> it's a little bit too much. Uh, Santurce, Puerto Rico yeah. is where you grew up in that Roberto Clemente territory, right? Yeah. Was he one of your idols growing up? Well, you know, he, he dies in 71. Right. I'm, I'm born in 71. I mean, you hear from him, you, you hear a lot from him. You know, from the people of Puerto Rico, I mean, you got murals and you got a lot of things mm -hmm. going on. Uh, you play in, the, in his uh, in his complex, and we don't. You in uh, in that complex, you don't have a number. Your number is 21. Everybody's number is 21. Really? Yeah. So uh, you have your num your name, and it says 21 on the back. It's uh, it's pretty neat. Now, baseball is in your DNA, as I mentioned. Your dad was yeah. a minor league player. Uncle Leo was with Kansas City, right? Yeah. Do you uh, have? Any big memory of that? Have you ever seen tape of any of them? No, I, I've seen my uncle uh, play. He played for Kansas City. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him made a good play in the outfield. He's he had a good arm. Uh, Is that your dad's for brother? Power. No, he's my dad's cousin. Okay. I call him uncle, but he's really my dad's cousin. Now, who was your favorite player and who was your favorite team growing up? My favorite player was George Brett. Uh, I just loved the way he played. No batting gloves. Always dirty. Uh, Don Mattingly, Dave Winfield. Just the you know just the way they played. Now let's talk about the switch hitting. Well, how did that start? Uh, my dad turned me uh, left handed. So you're I natural was kid. righty. I'm hit. left or righty, but he turns me left handed. I hit left handed since I was like 12 years old. And then I faced my first left handed pitcher, and I was and I looked at my dad. I said, Well, now I hit right handed. And, and I'm like, What happened? Hit right handed. And said, So I hit right handed, and and he, it was natural. You know, it was just. So it became really natural for me because I was just hitting left handed all the time. Okay, now in high school it wasn't just baseball. You played other sports, right? Yeah. What else did you do? Uh, soccer. Uh, I played soccer. Uh, and, and I ran track a little bit. Now I have to stop you there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're a great baseball player. Mm -hmm. You're pretty slow. Yeah. <laughs> How did you make the track team? I was not always this slow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you uh, when you when you're growing up, I think you, everybody's pretty much the same. But then, you know, when you uh, get older, obviously, you know, everybody uh, <laughs> it's just they uh, they run a little faster. All right, now in uh, high school, you were playing shortstop, right? Shortstop, shortstop. I got drafted as a shortstop. Uh, went to college, played shortstop, and then when I signed my first year, I played second base because they had a, another guy that played short. So my first year with the Yankees. Oneana, New York in 91 was a uh, second baseman. Now, in 1989, you get drafted by the Yankees. You're 17 years old. Yeah. Uh, number one, are you thrilled? Number two, why don't you take it? Well, it, the offer wasn't good. They, they want me to sign for free. And for free? Yeah. You said, you'll sign. They'll give you a signing bonus. I think it was 7500 and mm -hmm. It was not, you know, I said, uh, I need to go to, uh, go to school two years and see what happens. 